What is up everyone, this is Karen here, welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. Paranoid Android version Quads 5 day which you already know about. It's not actually available on the Android version 11 but yes it's Android version 10 with the September security patch. But the thing is it's the new build and you can simply see on the build, build number it's on 11th of March 2021. So I don't know about the security patch things but that doesn't matter. This one is the new update which I have installed on my Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro a Mia Tool device. So you can also use this build on your device if you are using Mia Tool build if you are using Mia Tool device. And if you don't know what is actually me at all, you can simply search on Google and you will find those answers very easily. This one is the panel Android. This is a CAF based custom room. So of course the performance and battery backup seems to be good here. And yes, these are. You can simply change these colors. These are the ASIN colors and styles and wallpapers options are available. You can simply change these colors if you want to. By default, you get the green colors. I've also tried to change that to maroon or red and these are working perfectly fine including that if you go for the tiles options we have some extra tiles options available like the screen recording dark theme etc but you don't get any option to reset these to, you don't get any options to choose these custom tiles and other options like you can simply you can't change the rows and columns there if you move on to the on device wallpapers unlike other rooms it has some custom wallpapers some pre-installed wallpapers which you can apply on your device very easily without any kind of issues i've also tried to apply that wallpaper and these wallpapers are pre-installed you don't require any kind of internet connection to apply these wallpapers on your device for example i've applied this and as you can see applied successfully you don't need internet connection for this and but for still this kind of things we have the abstract option of abstract wallpapers app available there the smoothness option is quite good as it's CF based and the battery backup performance both of these things are looking quite good even I'm using 60 hertz refresh rate right now in my Redmi Note 9 Pro but it doesn't feel like 60 hertz it's it's seriously smooth it's buttery smooth let me show you some other things the thing which I didn't honestly liked about this build is the camera you get the normal snapdragon camera available which was at least not expected but the best thing is yes you can use the gcam's latest version in my case i'm using gcam 8.1 here and also you can use the gcam 8.1 on your device i'm using nikta gcam 1.2 which is based on the google camera 8.1 and if you don't know about this i have a dedicated video on the, this on my hindi channel so stay tuned make sure to check out that video so you'll get an idea about this nikita gcam and you will get the link to install on your device it should work on your device as it's working on android version 10 and android version 11 11. The wallpaper app which I was talking to you which is called abstract wallpapers app where we have a lot of wallpapers we already know about that official oneplus wallpapers and all and you can apply without any kind of issues let me share with you some things about this build for example the cpu throttling test so you'll get an idea about the performance that the performance is looking good or not i'm trying right now as you already saw that the warning was not even removed so i'm using this app for the first time so let's see i'm also checking out the performance right now i haven't checked the performance yet so this is the performance graph which you are getting right now the performance seems to be okay okay it's not great but it's not bad either it's just up to you if you still want to use this build on your device or not but some of the guys will say that android version 10 is not usable right now but yes android version 10 is quite good it's quite stable and it's recommended for you to use as a daily driver let me show you some other things like like some of the user also require this geekbench score so let me share with you the geekbench scores and this is i've already checked it out let me show you by going into history 560 is the single core score and 1792 is the multi core score which is quite good gigman scores actually doesn't matter a lot but still these are looking quite good let me show you the the comparison with other devices for example we have the 560 is the single core comparison which is far better than the redmi note 8 pro galaxy a71 poco f1 and galaxy s8 Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 8. Both of the devices are far more behind this this Geekbench score. Multicore is also quite good, but scores doesn't matter as I previously told you. I tried to use some apps and working perfectly fine. 
If you're looking for the safety net status and want to use banking apps, you can use on your device without any kind of issues. So it's just up to you. I haven't installed any kind of module, but I have tried to hide that magic. So that's why the safety net status is passing. Paper Protect is certified. I am able to use the banking apps and you can also use banking apps on your device. There would be no issues here. It is a paranoid Android room, so no customizations, no features. But the thing is, it comes with the app locker, which I personally use on my device. And yes, it's working perfectly fine. Face lock is not available. The battery backup at Sikta seems to be decent, as I previously told you. Try to play games also, but yes, it's good. It's quite good. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. And as I previously told you, this room is good. Doesn't come with customizations. At the default launcher, you also add the same kind of options, but with the icon pack support. So if you're looking to install icons, this might be a good choice for you. These were things I just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this. If you like this, link is in the description. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.